Venus, the hottest planet in the solar system, despite it being second closest planet to the Sun. It is a hell world, with average temperature being 462 Celsius, or two times more than the average oven. And this is not a real image of Venus. This was taken with a different spectrums of light that are not visible to the human eye. This is the real image of Venus, and it looks a lot like a gassy planet, but of course it is solid. Now, because it has such a thick atmosphere, you can't see the surface, but it also means that the pressure is very high on the surface of Venus. Pressure is 93 times higher than on the surface of Earth, which is similar to being 1000 meters underwater, so its thick atmosphere allowed for that. Plus, because atmosphere of Venus is mostly carbon dioxide, and it is extremely thick, so carbon dioxide captures heat and doesn't let go of it, and basically it creates the hell that is Venus. So still, Venus is called Earth's twin because it has a similar gravity and diameter to Earth. Earth is just a bit bigger and has a stronger gravity, but that's the only common thing as established. So what if the so-called Earth's twin became a moon of Earth? Let's say Venus started drifting towards Earth and somehow got captured by Earth's gravity. So immediately, when Venus settles onto orbit, Moon would be ejected flying into outer space. Or maybe it would be captured by another planet. So because Venus has very similar gravity to Earth, it would mean that both objects would orbit around each other and would create a berry center, a center of mass, in which both would orbit each other. It's just that Earth would be a little bit more dominant. So, really, you can barely call Venus a moon then. But, to an extent, it would be. The diameter of Venus is 3-4 to four times larger than the moon's. If Venus were to settle in the similar orbit to the moon, it would appear gigantic. It would be as if we watched something as big as Earth standing there. So, right off the bat, nights on Earth would be noticeably brighter. Venus is the brightest planet and it is commonly mistaked for a star, but when you see a really bright object in the sky that's not moon and the sun, it's likely Venus. So it is really bright even from 40 million kilometers away, but up close it would be a few times brighter than the moon. The brightness is caused by a thick atmosphere that reflects a lot of light. Plus Venus, as said, is really heated, meaning temperature on Earth would likely rise probably by a few Celsius or even more, which could cause Antarctica's and Greenland's ice cap to unfreeze a bit, rising the sea level by a few meters, which would cause millions upon millions of people to be in need to move, and the heat would destroy a few ecosystems. Also, length of the day could be changed, which would cause quite a few problems, because every animal and human that was on Earth evolved to live in a 24-hour day-night cycle, so this length of the day could mess with that. Now, despite those big problems, humans and many other animals would likely adapt to the situation, but also Earth would become quite a dangerous place as tides on Earth would be many times bigger because of Venus's strong gravitation, which would cause tsunamis on Earth to be a more frequent thing so everyone on Earth would need to get out of the cities on the coast, plus as well, there would be, as said, sea level rise. So, there are many problems that come with Venus, but there are as well some good things that come with Venus. At least exploration of Venus would be many times easier, and sending a rover would be quite a fast thing within few days, and we would likely have mapped the whole surface of Venus by that time so it would as well provide a good place to colonize. Not on the surface, of course, but there have been plans to build a sky city in the upper atmosphere of Venus, which would mean that it would have a similar pressure, gravity and temperature to Earth in Venus's upper atmosphere, making colonization pretty promising. So, of course, Venus will not start drifting towards Earth. It's an idea and it does have downsides, but humans would likely be able to survive with consequences, but it would have some upsides as well. 